Welcome to Early Bird Picker. My name is Rafa and I'm a reseller. I particularly specialize in reselling running shoes. I worked in a brick and mortar store for about a decade reselling running shoes and I want to help you in your reselling efforts for reselling running shoes. In particular, reading the size tag and the little tips that are hidden within that size tag that can help you uh, resell your running shoes. And today's particular brand that we're going to cover is Brooks Running Shoes. So if you're going to list your Brooks Running Shoes on eBay or whatever selling platform, but for now we'll just say eBay, there's some things that you obviously need to know you obviously need to know the brand um, but also not only the brand but then the model let's take this Brooks glycerin um, for example so on the outside of the shoe on Brooks shoes on most Brooks shoes it'll tell the name of the shoe um, somewhere and this one it's on the tongue this one is a Brooks glycerin and the particular uh, version on this one is 18 and so you don't want to just know the brand and the model but you also need to know the version which kind of denotes the year that the shoe came out for people that are buying running running shoes, high-end running shoes online, um, basically they tend to want the newest one that's been released. In general, there are three categories of people that are buying high-end running shoes. When I say high-end running shoes, I mean shoes that are priced like 120, 130 and higher from there uh, at, the, at the original MSRP retail price basically. And so the reason why you want to get into reselling that that particular niche of shoe is because the higher uh, the MSRP was at the you know when the shoe was first sold the higher the resale value will be typically but there's pretty much three categories of people that are buying these high-end running shoes um, the first category obviously are runners and walkers people that are wanting to do maybe anywhere from like a 5k to a marathon potentially an ultra marathon in these whenever I resell my high-end running shoes I tend to stick with ones that are in really high quality because uh, if someone's wanting to run a marathon in these it's unlikely they're going to want a shoe that's like bald on the bottom that you know the cushioning is just blown out and so I tend to stick to ones that are just in really really nice quality as you can see this particular one right here the second major category of people wanting to wear uh, running shoes are pe people that are wearing them to work. Maybe they work in an Amazon warehouse and maybe they're on their feet for like 12 hours a day on concrete. And at a lot of these warehouses, places, uh, people are allowed to wear running shoes and they go with these really high end ones because more cushioning, their feet feel better all day, their back feel feels better. And again, with this category of people buying these shoes, people that are wearing them to work in, that are on their feet for a long time all day, you really just wanna be selling ones that are in really, really high condition also because if your feet are killing you, you don't want to buy a shoe that's already really worn out to wear to work. The third major category of people buying these really high-end running shoes and walking shoes are for people that are buying them for medical reason. Maybe they've got like arthritis in their feet or their back. Maybe they have plantar fasciitis. It could be like anything, but a lot of times their doctor will say, hey, you need to go to one of these specialty running shoe stores and get yourself a pair of these really nice shoes so that you can wear them so that your you know pain can decrease or whatever. And again, in this category, you really just want to be selling really nice quality shoes that, if they're used, just really nice quality because if someone's trying to get rid of a medical problem they're having they obviously want a shoe that's still in really good condition so how the running shoe industry works is basically every year um, a running shoe company will put out a new model of each shoe kind of like cars basically or, or every two years but typically it's every year and so as soon as that new model comes out the models from the previous year even the new ones they drop about 30 percent so if you were to go into a running shoe store and let's say they had the glycerin 18 on the shelf and then the glycerin 19 the 19 is the current model the 19 would be at full price and then hopefully you'd be able to get this one in new condition at 30% off of retail price. Now you can imagine if you're going to buy a new one at 30% off when you're buying used shoes on eBay, the resale value is going to be less than that. You're not going to get 30% um, off of MSRP. I typically get, you know, maybe like 50% if they're in really nice condition, um, maybe maybe 40%. So when you're out there sourcing to resell running shoes, you wanna focus on getting shoes that are either the newest model, which is hard to find often, or because just people just don't donate the shoes that they're currently wearing or the model that was like the most recent year or the year before it's so like the last one or two years when you find running shoes that are like five six seven eight years models old you want to avoid those because it's unlikely that one anyone is looking for that model and two um, just the resale value of it is not going to be very high even in good condition which so this particular shoe is a really good example of that is in that people want the newest model this particular one being in excellent condition it is the model from last year and I've had this shoe probably for two 
two months in my inventory. And so you really want to focus on getting the newest model shoes. So if you're just getting into reselling running shoes, I want to um, basically speed up your identification at, at for identifying the shoe, give you some helpful tips. So the first thing is you could use the Google image search. So most people already know about that. They could use the lens on your Google and it'll usually tell pretty accurately which uh, particular shoe this is, what model it is, and what version it is. But then there's some other things that you're going to want to know about the shoe that only come from the size tag. So today I want to help you basically read a Brooks Running Shoe size tag and what it tells you and how it can help you in filling out your eBay listing, the item details, etc. and help identify your shoe. So we already discovered that this is the Brooks Glycerin 18, but if you didn't already know that based on the Google image search or the outside of the shoe, the tag is really helpful. So the tag on this one, you can see here it is and I'll try to throw uh, basically a screen capture of this so you can see it up close. So as you can see here, the top of the tag says 120317 1B590. And so often when you're listing running shoes on eBay, you want to be able to list the style code. That is the style code for Brooks. For Brooks running shoes, the style code will always start in 1-1 or 1-2. So if this particular one starts with a 1-2, the 2 tells you that this is a women's shoe. And that's really helpful knowledge because sometimes and just a lot more frequently they're making shoes just in just colors that it could be a men's it could be a women's and so just doing a Google image search of your shoe doesn't tell you if it's a men's or women's so you've got to be able to read the size tag sometimes to be able to discern uh, what category to list this in so being that this is a one two this is a women's shoe obviously on this one the color is pretty easy giveaway here's another example of a Brooks running shoe or walking shoe this is the Brooks addiction walker and we'll look at the, the style code on this one as you can see on this one, it says 110039 4E221. So the 11 on this one tells you that this is a men's shoe, the second digit. Um, the one one rather than the one two. So if you're having trouble telling on a Brooks running shoe whether it's a men's or women's, look at the second digit of the style code. I've done it. I do not recommend doing it, but I have done it before. Selling shoes where you cannot read the size on the label. It's really risky and I don't recommend doing it. So if you're gonna just getting into reselling running shoes when you're sourcing, make sure you look at the tongue, the inside of the shoe, the tag to make sure that the size is visible. If, if someone has worn the shoe so much that it has worn the ink off the tag that tells you that you probably don't even want to be flipping that shoe because they've someone's worn that shoe so much it's just not going to be valuable it's just got too much use to it so on this one we can see that this women's one that the size is a USA 8 um, Euro 39 and UK 6 I'll put all three of those in my item details on the eBay listing but let's go back to that style number because the style number um, to my knowledge doesn't tell you what size a shoe is but it does tell you the width and when you're running, the width is really important because um, <clears throat> if someone's running a marathon, which a marathon is 26 miles, the shoe needs to fit perfectly, basically, so that that person does not get blisters when they run or any other, uh, basically, issue. And so getting the length of the shoe is not just really important for the runner, but then the width of the shoe. And so you don't want to just take a guess at it. The standard width for a women's shoe is B as in boy. The standard width for men is D as in dog. Um, but on this particular one, we do want to check to make sure, and that is in the style code. And so we'll go back to the size tag. It says 120317. Those first six digits are basically the style code that tell you this is a Brooks Glycerin. Now, the 1B tells you the width of the shoe. So a single B, um, so on in the item details of eBay, you would just mark B as in boy. And so this one is a standard width women's running shoe. Now let's look at the Brooks Addiction Walker that we have. You can tell it just from looking at this that it's a wider shoe, but there's really no way to accurately guess the width of a shoe. And so on this one, we have the style code 110039. Those first six digits tell you that this is a Brooks Addiction Walker. And then the 4E tells you the width. So we said that the standard width for men is D. Wide for a man is 2E in running shoes. And then extra wide for a man in running shoes is 4E. So this Brooks Addiction Walker is an extra wide walking shoe because of the 4E in the style code. And then the 221 at the end of this tag tells you the particular color code. And so you could go to Brooks' website likely and look up the 221 if you want to get like the manufacturer's name for the the color and so I just on eBay put that this was brown but if you really wanted to go overboard and you really wanted to know um, sometimes the manufacturer will set call it like 
espresso or something you know more fancy than just brown but basically the 221 tells you the color code now this is just on Brooks running shoes every manufacturer has a different way of doing their style code and the tag of their shoes to tell you about the shoe but I wanted to just kind of um, break down the style code on this one to help you guys out if you ever have trouble telling identifying the model of the shoe what width and then the color code I think the color code is less important than the model and the width obviously so as far as reading the Brooks uh, size tag that's really all there is to it It'll tell the year in there too, so if you want to, in the item details, um, this Brooks Glycerin, it says 12 of 19. That means this was um, manufactured in 2019. Um, and so even though we said this is just last year's model, sometimes like th these will be made months, months, months before they're shipped. You know, this one was made in Vietnam. It's got to get shipped. It's got to go through customs. And so these will be made before the year that they're actually released to the public. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Let me know in the comments below. Hit the like button for me. Please hit subscribe. Probably about half the people that watch my channel aren't actually subscribed. So if you'd subscribe, that'd really help me out. Um, but let me know if you like this particular uh, video with the size tag and let me know what brand to do next. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, I'll see all y'all on the next video.